Heidi-ho. Welcome Bar Club. I got a package. This is a video collaboration of Chicken's Tabletop Crafting. Würfelbunker and myself, Weltenbar Club. Our videos are sponsored by PK Pro, Crowd Cover, and Rooster Model. So, this is a package I got from PK Pro. He sent me over an ATST, two packs of speeder bikes, gummy bears, and some really nice brushes. So let's build this ATST. I like building model kits. I built 1272 scale airplanes when I was a child. Never painted them because paints were really expensive and it wasn't acrylic paints. You had to use paint thinner to clean the brushes. Yeah, so that was not, uh, not good for a 10 year old boy. <laughs> Let's shape this uh, ATST. I want, uh, I know an ATST never makes this movement in the movie, but I find it funny that he's got his feet high up in the air and uh, stomping on a model. <laughs> Let's see if it is good in uh, gaming, in gameplay. There might be some problems with terrain. <laughs> But I love the pose. Strike, Strike a, pose. a pose. Strike a pose. Mix up some milli, put and put it on the base. And let's just uh, put a stone on there also and then prime it in uh, the garden. Black wash made from Indian ink. It's got cool particles, black particles inside and cool for the fingers. Then a little white dry brush with a big old makeup brush. I got more makeup brush than my wife. You could leave it like that, but that would be boring for a video at least, I guess. To have a tabletop ready, it's totally I wanted to have, uh, I, want, I know it's only light gray with a tiny bit of weathering. I give it some colors. So now this is some bronze tone on some mechanical parts, smaller parts. And uh, some more shading. So what I'm doing here is uh, I squirt on some black speed paint and then I'll feather it out with uh, a damp brush, like so. Ta-da, it's magic. Some white edge highlighting. And then another black speed paint feathered edge. Sponging on some silver, partially as highlight, and also some yeah, shiny metallic. So this is Crowdcover's new scenic basing material. 
He sent it over for me to dry and to be consistent in the gaming board and the bases for the minis. Have you seen the video uh, Chicken's Tabletop Crafting made uh, over on his channel? I'll link it in the description below. And now we just drop on the crazy good basing material on regular PVA. thicker on some parts and then uh, I <laughs> had the idea that there are those nice um, mossy parts and I thought hmm why not take some and and set it in there standing upright I also added some tufts and there are some small wood bits and pieces in the mix and then I wanted to place them on purpose also, some of them. Most of it is chaos, but some is on purpose. So far so good, you could leave it like that. Yeah, uh, PK Pro also put in those metal plates and they're for color to put your colors in there and I tried them they are cool I like it usually I just take some baking paper I don't use a wet palette or something but the cool thing about those uh, metal thingies is you just wipe them out with a piece of paper or, or I don't know rag and then it's clean no matter what was in the plate that's really cool <laughs> Some more details. Um, this is a brownish speed paint on this rough painted uh, undercoat with the wash and the gray and the stippling and the dry brushing and um, it gives a nice rust like color. Uh, the speed paint dry transparent and then everything you did below shines through. happy with the base um i want it I, this, this base thing is tea. trampling over everything so on my other bases for the other minis i use those uh, plastic plants so i will make a path of destruction with those plantings here destruction yeah so uh, usually when i get plastic plants i pick them apart in smaller parts, smaller bits, and then I prime them with a two-in-one uh, water-based lacquer. In this case, it's a dark green. And then I let them dry and put them in the box. Uh, when I need them, I take them out. Most of the time, I even cut it in smaller pieces. I glued it on with some instant glue. The thing with instant glue, it's never really instant. <laughs> Unless you use activator spray. Activate, activate. This is a, a gel instant glue. It has a little bit more body to the glue and is not running around like crazy into all the cracks. But it leaves a blob of glue, which you need to hide later. So in the front of the foot, the grass, the greenery is still okay. And in the in the back part, he trampled over it. That was the idea. And then I was pushing this plastic rubbery thing in there, but it would not stick. It look at there and it will pop out right now. Tuck. I hope the idea gets over. This is a, uh, what is it? It's a, uh, it's thyme, a dried bush of thyme. Not thyme like, like on your watch, <laughs> like the herb. Sometimes the activator messes up with uh, speed paints. 
but I try not to hit the model too hard with the activator. idea so uh, on the other side on the right side of the base I put this uh, uh, this wood the, the, this uh, bushes small trees and the right foot the right leg of the ATST just ran through it and broke all the branches and yeah so it is he's brutal he's brutal to nature he does not care uh, that's why Ewoks, I guess, that's why Ewoks don't like the Empire, because they don't care about nature. Yeah, maybe they have a climate change already in the future. <laughs> because of the ATST, of course, not of humans or... Only because of the Empire. Empire! Yeah, I'm getting carried away. So, all those blobs of the instant glue need to be hidden. So I put on some more PVA on spots uh, where this uh, semi-transparent plastic stuff is uh, showing through and then I put on some more crowd cover. I love the name crowd cover. He's German <laughs> and uh, crowds and you know, <laughs> it's cool. I like it. Yeah, and then I thought, huh, he's, he's running through the, all the bushes and stuff with his feet. So let's put some dirt on there. Okay, maybe it was a little bit too much. Let's take it off again a little bit. But, uh, that's cool. I like it. He's ramming through there. So I don't like uh, those uh, shiny uniform green painted plastic plants. So I put on some matte varnish uh, and before it's drying I'm scratching on some soft pastels. They will stick on the matte varnish. The matte varnish is my glue in this case. And you need varnish anyway so you get this uh, yeah, I will varnish it later uh, also, but uh, this is a first coat. It will make everything stronger. Uh, What's wrong? So uh, the base looks okay. Yeah, it's okay. Hmm. But... But... I'll push some more of the metal bits into the darkness with uh, some shades. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Fake non, fake agrex. It's... Uh, it's this filled into this. <laughs> because why not? Because it's a deadly sin, my son. Don't mix products of two different brands, which are at war. I'm only putting the strong tone and the dark tone in on, on uh, areas uh, in the back. So I uh, don't paint the raised areas, so I get more depth. It has seen uh, better times. This humid, wet, wooden moon is, oh, it's not good for, for this kind of machine. It is, it's tall. Look at my face, I'm totally concentrated. Inside, Inside I'm smiling, smiling. Outside, outside I look like I'm crying. Clean it. See that? Tuck, tuck, tuck. Clean. Perfect. Some more varnish, some more um, soft pastels, different green tones, brown tones. Thanks, as always, to my Patreons. Some of you have been there from the beginning. Uh, I'm talking to you, son of Tark. Thank you a lot. 
If you want to buy something at PK Pro, I got this affiliate link in the description below. See ya.